today's video is going to be a what's in my makeup bag video this is my makeup bag I got it at Sephora and I really love it it's super compact but I can fit a ton of stuff in here and since I have so many products to show you I'm not gonna go in depth into every single product like I usually do in my favorites just know that if the product has made it into this bag I absolutely love it and it is a favorite and it has probably been in one of my favorites video at one point or another so with that said let's jump right into it and the first thing is my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and I also love the All Nighter Setting Spray if I'm not using my NYX Matte Setting Spray or the Dewy Finish one I'm using these these are a lot better with longevity though so like for going out and things like that they're more expensive but they do help your makeup stay on longer next I have the new Clinique Lash Power Mascara it's the one that has three settings I talked about this in favorites this is honestly my new favorite mascara it does not smudge on me at all next I have my two absolute favorite eyeliners they're by Colourpop the first one is Mr. Bing and the second one is Overboard this is more of a metallic finish and Mr. Bing is a matte finish but they're both browns and I'm wearing both of them today and I love them I wear overboard on my waterline and then I wear mr. Bing on the tight line I have my eyelash curler and this one is by Mac I absolutely love this one my eyelashes don't really hold a curl very well and this just helps it like crazy next is a concealer that I've been using lately and it's the NARS soft matte complete concealer I'm in the shade vanilla I talked about this in my March favorites it's what I'm wearing today I really really love this concealer and I've been setting it with this setting powder I also talked about this this is the Rimmel stay matte and I'm in the color creamy natural 011 I love this underneath my eyes even though it's matte it doesn't dry out my eyes or anything it doesn't look cakey it's what I'm wearing today it just really really brightens the under eyes do you guys know this is my absolute favorite brow pencil this is the brow definer by Anastasia I'm the color medium brown I mentioned this in literally almost every single video the palette that I have in here is the Becca ombre rouge eye palette and I've also mentioned this a million times it looks like this it's so freaking beautiful I use this color and this color the most I use this one all over my lid just to set my concealer on my lid and then I use this one all over my crease and on my lash line what I'm wearing today and I can't get enough of this eye palette and it's since it's so small it's just perfect for traveling it's the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked powder and highlight 01 and it's just a very subtle highlight but it gives the most beautiful sheen to your face this is my favorite like honestly this is my favorite highlight of all time my favorite powder highlight of all time I cannot stress enough how beautiful this powder is it is not the most intense highlight but you can definitely build it up and make it super intense but it just looks so natural I can't like I can't is the bronzer I've been using lately it's the cover effects custom enhancer drops in Sunkist it's what I'm wearing today I don't know if you guys can even like tell but so natural so beautiful the undertone in this is perfection this is the only custom enhancer drops that I've tried but I absolutely love it it works really really well with my skin tone I have my mr. brow groom by Jimanchi you guys know this is the current uh, eyebrow gel that I've been using this stuff is literally cement for your eyebrows my Glossier halo scope in quartz. It's what I'm wearing today Talked about it in my March favorites. I've had this for a really long time But I pull it out every single spring and summer because it's just perfect. It gives you the most beautiful natural glow next is the Glossier bomb.com and I also talked about this in my March favorites I can't get enough of this lip balm. I have my Buxom lip gloss in amber and it's just this beautiful peachy gold color. That's like my favorite color for spring and summer. A gloss that just has a gold undertone is my jam. I really love this one. And this one's basically the same color. It's NARS Strip Tease, which is what I'm wearing today. It's just a beautiful peachy color with a gold undertone. The Buxom one has like bigger chunks of, I don't want to say glitter because it doesn't look glittery when you put it on, but the gold just, you can see it more than this one. This one's more of a, like a shell effect, which I love. Next is the only 
liquid liner that I've been using lately. It's the NYX colored felt tip liner in chocolate brown. I've also mentioned this in a favorites. The only thing I will say about these liquid liners is that they can dry out pretty quickly, but they're so inexpensive that I don't really mind it and they don't transfer. So I don't care how often these dry out. I'll keep repurchasing them because they don't transfer on me and they're matte. Next is my favorite all over face setting powder. It's my It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. I'm in the color Fair and even when I have a little bit of a tan, I could get away with this. It just brightens up your skin a little bit more. Next is my little Kabuki brush. It's by Sigma and I love it. Perfect for traveling. I just stick it in whatever bag and this is what I use for my all over face powder. I have my Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. I'm in the shade medium and these do run a little light. I'm usually a lighter color in most tinted moisturizers or foundations and things like that but medium is like the perfect color right now it's it has more of a yellow undertone i think the color before this which is light is more of a pink undertone so keep that in mind if you're interested in these skin tints i recently got mine i got this about a week ago and i love it it's what i'm wearing today it's perfect if you have dry skin this is gonna be your best friend i cannot stress this enough it is not the highest coverage at all um, but it's definitely a little buildable if you have areas on your face that you feel need more coverage what i do is i go in with whatever concealer i'm using and i just conceal those areas but for an all over glowy skin tint just to even out your skin tone absolutely love this this is probably going to be in my april favorites honestly I really really love this skin tint. And then finally I have my two cloud paints from Glossier in Dusk and Beam. I've talked about this like three times on my channel already. It's what I've been wearing every day. It's what I'm wearing today. I really love these. So easy and so blendable and so natural looking. And that's everything that was in my makeup bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.